Hello fishing friends, this is Matthew with Outfishing 13 bringing you another video on how to repair or super tune a reel. I just finished a video on repairing and servicing a Zebco 733 hog, the China model, and today I'm going to take that model of the Zebco 733 and show you how to super tune it. This model only has one ball bearing. It's on the main shaft and I'm going to show you how to put ball bearings on the handle shaft and on the front cone. So we're going to add three ball bearings to it. We're also going to add some new parts to it so that it's like brand new. Let's get started. Okay, to do this super tune you just need a couple of tools. You're going to need a screwdriver, maybe a big screwdriver and a small one, a little pair of needle nose pliers, you're going to need some grease. I got my Lucas Red Grease. It's really sticky. I use that for the gears. I got some Triflow Grease. It's a lighter weight grease. I got some gear lube. If I want to use that, that's kind of like the same as the Triflow Grease. And I've got some uh, hot sauce by Quantum for some oil for the bearings. So let me show you the parts I've got. We're going to put in a brand new spinner cap. Okay, I got all these parts from TackleService.com and to order these parts you're going to need to know the, the, the part number. So you may need to get online and find um, the schematics like this. Here's the schematics I have with all the parts for this particular Zebco. So if you want to pause and take a look at that. <laughs> There's the schematics. But you can also look up uh, Mike's Reels parts and or just search for um, 733 schematics and you'll find them. And you will need those because they don't necessarily list this on Tackle Service, but they'll have the parts. So um, here's this new spinner cap. Now this is, these are the bearings that I'm going to put in. This is the front nose code and bearing. This part, this VZ097-01, comes from a 733 Platinum of the same type. Then I have some LY030-01s that also you can find. The, this particular bearing comes from a Zebco 33 Max. You can find you can find other bearings that come for the 733 Platinum of this model, um, and they're a little bit more expensive because they're all stainless steel. I'm going to also put in a new clicker because this one right here here doesn't work very well; it's worn out. And then I'm going to put new. Um, uh, this is a new uh, drag washers. So it's a whole new drag washer set that I'm going to put in there. Um, if you want, I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. I'm not going to talk about every little problem. If you want to go back and watch my other video on how to service this, go back and watch my other video. But if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and help me grow my channel. Um, I see that there's been hundreds of views, but not very many people are subscribing. So if you want to help my channel grow, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Because I try to do my very best in bringing you informative videos on how to repair reels. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disassemble the reel and get it taken apart. And you start with the front. So this reel has already been all serviced and is nice and clean. So we're just going to take and put the old parts over there that we don't need so that we can put the new parts on this. Let me just save that, but we don't need this anymore. We won't need those anymore. We won't need this. I'll take this off right here. Actually, we don't need to take that off, but we'll just leave it on there. Okay, now I'm ready to take the handle off. Okay. 
I don't need to take that out, so I'm not going to worry about that. Now, one of the things I wanted to replace is I wanted to replace this little wedge bearing um, retainer. And but unfortunately, Zebco no longer carries that part. Okay, now that I got that out, bushing's out, so I'm going to take out this bushing here. Let's push it out. That's that bushing. There's that bushing. Can take this shaft out. Okay, now we're going to take, I want to replace this little plastic piece here first. So all I got to do to do that is I need to take out this little, this little clip here. And that's what I need this pair of pliers for. So I just grab that and take it out. There we go. And you just got to turn this in a certain direction and just kind of push down and get it started and push it through like so. Okay, there's that one. I'm gonna set that one aside. That one wasn't working right. I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it clean. I don't want to get it dirty because I really don't need to service it. And then I'm gonna push out. Oh, it's already dropped out. There we go. So now I'm ready to I'm gonna put this little piece back in there, this new clicker. And that part number is an LY002-01. Okay, there we okay, go. Okay, now that I have that in there, I'm just going to apply a little bit of oil to it. Now we're ready to put the bearings in. This bearing is a VZ097-01, and it's made for a Zebco 733 Platinum of this particular make. So I want to, um, I'm actually going to take a couple of these bearings out and add oil to them so that the oil can start soaking in. So let's put the oil in there because these are a shielded bearing. And I want the oil to really soak in there. Okay. I'm going to put this bearing in here. It fits perfectly. And now we're ready to put this bearing back in there. I don't need to do anything with this. I've already greased it all up. Just need to put it in there. Okay, we're ready to put this back in there. Again, I've already greased this all up so it has all the lube on it that it needs. And we're ready to put these on there. One of the tricks that I've learned is when you're putting these bearings in, so you don't have to push against the bearing, is take your bushing and put your bushing in. Then take your, your handle screw and push it in there to seat it. And then you can take and just pop that little thing out of there. And use it on the other side. Put that bearing in on this side on there 
push it in there and seat this one in there. Pop that one out. Okay. Now I'm gonna add just a little bit of extra grease on this just because I had the opportunity to. I'm gonna add a little bit of extra grease. If you take and when you grease up one of these, if you add the grease just right there, when you spin it around, it will get on there and then it will grease up the whole thing. It'll grease up all the gears. Now we need to put this in. Now if you've taken one of these apart, this is the first one I've taken apart. It's so much like a, a Zeb, regular Zebco 33, but this is a little bit different. And I have a question for some of you out there that are watching this. Does it go in like this with these little ramps or wedges? Or does it go in like this? I'm inclined to think that it must go in like this so that this flat surface is against the bearing. So that's the way I'm going to put it in today. I'd put it in the, the other way. I'd put it in like this. But after thinking about it, I believe it goes in this way. Not this way. So that's the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it out. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, and this has a spring in it. And what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to tighten up against this and push it over and, and tighten it up. What I want to do is I want to tighten this up so this just barely has a little bit of play. And that feels pretty good the way it is right there. And then um, I'm going to leave the back off for now. I'm going to put the front together. And then when I get everything put together, I'm going to adjust this last to make sure that I have good tension on here, but not, not too much. I'm just going to put the handle on for now. and work on the front. So th this has little ramps here, or a cam. So you put it on here, and put it like this so that it's all the way loose. That way when you put all this whole stack together, it's gonna be easy to put together. Okay, let's take our new set of washers. It's an LY4108-01. And uh, this is called a tapered. This is the tapered um, drag washer. Okay. And it's going to go, this right here is the spring washer. For some reason, that's interesting because the spring washer on this old set didn't have a key on it. We're going to use the old one and leave this one out. This is the part where we need to grease everything. We're going to put some grease on here. Then we're going to put on the spring washer. And then we're going to grease that. And we're going to put on this tapered washer just like this with the cupped side down. See that? Then we're going to put on some grease. Let's 
and a new drag washer. Some grease. And then we're going to put on the spool. Then we're going to put some grease on here. And then another new drag washer. And then we're going to put on some grease. And then one of these keyed washers. Now, realistically, um, the one that's on there, the old one, is just fine. So I'm going to put on the old one. Because it really isn't wearing out. What you're really concerned about is those um, fiber washers, the drag washers themselves. And then put this on. This is a keyed, so it has to go on. It has to go on this way. So we'll get that put on and check the drag. Get that in the keyway right there. That drag is all the way on low, and it works great. Tighten it up, try it out. Yeah, that's working really well. Yeah, I'll just put it on low for now. Okay, we're gonna put the new spinner on. Before we put it on, we're going to grease it up and oil it. So it just comes with, without any grease on there, we want to make sure that we get some lube underneath these cams here. You don't want to just take and install this just right the way it is. It needs to be greased. So we want to put some grease there and there, and we want to put grease on these cams. And I like to take a little bit of oil and put it right on this hinge. Okay. Great. Looks good. Well, that feels good with those bearings in there. Okay. What I want to test is I just want to make sure it's got a little bit of play. So I'm just going to leave it like that. It's perfect. All right. So last thing to do is to put the back on and we're done. What I like to do when I take this off is make sure it has a little bit of grease right there. I'm going to use some of this sticky grease right here. Put a little bit on there. Alright, that works really well. Let's try the clicker. Okay. Yeah, that's much louder. Your bait alert. And the anti reverse is working really well. Yeah. It's working great. All right, well, there you go, fisherman friends. How to super tune 
your uh, Zebco 733 and add three bearings to it, and uh, which makes it much smoother of a reel. Let's just take this off and we'll put this line I'm just going to put this line right through here so we can spin it, give it a good spin test yeah that's nice Anyways, if you enjoyed my video, please give me a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bells. That will really help my channel grow. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.